You could totally do this inside, but I do it outside. It smokes like crazy. It makes a big mess. And uh, yes, once again, I use paper towels. I'm just gonna wipe the pan out and get this flaking, this surface flaking off from uh, from the high heat in the Traeger from the seasoning it. All right, same over here. And then uh, I'm gonna kick these on. And uh, these pans are just a little big for this burner, so I'm gonna wanna rotate them around. I have some high heat gloves, and then I'm gonna use the same hemp oil. And you could do this a couple different ways. You can um, put, the, put the oil on, like you're gonna see me do in a minute, and then let it cool each time, or, you can just keep putting oil on. And I've done it both ways. It doesn't seem to make any difference. You could do this with really any, I'm folding this up like this. Uh, you could do this with any cast iron pan or uh, carbon steel pan. You could do it with any pan, I guess, except, you know, Teflon. Any pan you want to season. Um, it seems to be more beneficial with these newer style, super smooth pans. The ones that are porous seem to hold uh, plenty of seasoning on their own, uh, but this extra step, it seems to just uh, duplicate, you know, a couple months worth of cooking. Uh, but anyway, you can start to see, I can start to see anyway, a little bit of heat forming, and uh, I'm just going to put a little dab <coughs> in each one. Put my, put my glove on, and I'm not sure that you can... Uh, screw this up. I'm not sure that you can get it hot enough. Put my other glove on so I can grab the handle because the handle is going to get ripping hot. And this process will take about 15 or 20 minutes. And again, just like seasoning the uh, just like seasoning the pan in the Traeger, you want it on evenly, as even as possible. Alright, you just leave it on there and let it get hot. It'll start to smoke. See how it's smoking here? It'll actually start to just burn off and get this uh, hazy gray look. You'll see that in a, in a couple minutes. Uh, that's when you want to add more oil. That's also the point at which you would let it cool down. I'm going to break up the camera here a little bit, uh, break up the video, and just fast forward through some of this waiting. Again, the, the lint on the paper towel, you can see it in there. It doesn't matter. By the way, cleaning these with soap and water doesn't matter either. <laughs> you know, the, the oil is bonded to the surface. Uh, a little bit of soap is not, doesn't remove it if it's done properly. You, you know, the, let the hate mail begin because some people are just absolutely uh, do not agree with that statement. But, doesn't seem to matter. Got a pretty good smoke going on, so I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. That time I didn't add any oil because I've got enough in the paper towel here and you can see the paper towel starting to get um, burned a little bit. 
that's fine. So this is what I'm talking about with that uh, hazy area. That hazy area right there, you can see it right here, right here, not around the edges here because the center is the hottest. But that hazy area is where the oil is really, really bonding to the surface. I can feel the heat coming through these gloves. Uh, I could not possibly do this without the gloves. It is uh, ridiculously hot. For cosmetics, it does help if you kind of smooth the surface like you're almost like you're painting. You know, you just kind of feather it like this because then you'll get that perfect glass look and you won't see any of the strokes. See what I mean? I don't know if you can see in the in the light, but it'll start to uh, show where you're wiping it. And if you're just careful and you take some care in doing it, you get this mirror finish. You can see it's getting so hot that it's starting to burn the paper towel and I'm getting little flakes in there. I'm gonna get a new paper towel. Actually, I'm just gonna use this paper towel that I was using. And <clears throat> it is now getting so hot that even I can feel it burning right through the glove. So I just have to go a little faster. Man. And I lost count. Uh, because um, I'm, I'm doing this until I get a, the finish that I want. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know how many coats I'm putting on. I'm just gonna keep going until I get the finish I want. I am on my uh, third bundle of paper towels here. I think this will probably be my last coat because it's really looking good. That oil is bubbling and burning like the second I put it on, which is exactly what I want. And this is where you have to really make sure that you're getting the surface that you want and you don't have any streaks. So if you can see in the light, I'm starting to get some uh, more burn on this side than I am on this side. So I just pulled this over a little bit and we'll try to even it up. This one, this field skillet is really perfect, you know, and it's because it's uh, smaller and thinner, I think. So I think I'm happy with the field skillet. Uh, but I want to keep going with the stargazer. So what I'm going to do is uh, once I've wiped this perfectly, I'm going to uh, turn off the back heat. And I'm still going to have to coat this a couple more times because it'll continue to, to heat. Uh, and I don't want it to turn that gray dry color. That's really the, 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 main, uh, the main difference between succeeding at doing this and failing is if you let the pan get too dark uh, or, or too hot without enough oil, you'll get this, um, you'll get this dry, hazy burn and you don't want that. You want it to be slick and smooth. These little pieces of paper towel, they just don't matter at all. I'm gonna concentrate on this side of the pan right here. As you can see, this side is good. This side looks great. That's what I'm talking about. That right there, if you can see that in the light, I can't tell if you can see it, but that is, you don't want that. So if that starts happening, you need more oil or more frequent wipes. This one's looking good. It seems to be cooling evenly.
Okay, I've got this pretty much where I want it. I'm going to uh, turn off the heat and continue to coat it a few more times like I did with the uh, field skillet just to get it as even as I possibly can. But you can see how I moved the pan around on the heat to get the seasoning all the way up in and around the edges. And I'm just switching out some of the paper towels that I used earlier that are now cool. And you can feel the paper towel just slide around. I mean, it slides around like glass. Once the pan stops smoking, you can go ahead and wipe it with a, a clean paper towel to remove any excess oil. As you can see here, I have a little bit of a gray area. That's going to be fixed with the first cook. Uh, but to fix that, I can go ahead and it's still plenty hot enough, put a little bit more oil in there. And you'll see it'll smoke right up again. And that's what I, I what I don't want is those those dry marks. If it's all glass like this, you get the most perfect surface. Look at that! What a that's amazing! What a difference! I really really like the way that the stargazer seasoned. That surface makes all the difference. All right, well, that's it. I think we're good. I'm going to uh, just let them cool here for a while. Probably take them a good half hour to cool down. Uh, but these are done and ready to cook with. Here is the uh, carnage. I <laughs> uh, went through three, uh, four uh, burned paper towels and then that one at the end. Uh, but this is why I don't use a towel. I took a few clips from the beginning of the video here. This is when we started and we were wiping the soot out and then this is uh, when we're done. The surface is incredible. It took about 20 minutes total and um, they're ready to cook in. So uh, if you want to do this yourself, this is how you do it and I really appreciate you watching. Stay tuned because I'm going to cook in that stargazer uh, for the first time in my next video. So please subscribe and thanks for watching.